distance tables such as this seem to cause people quite a few problems because of how they read the horizontal line of values. Now quite often the mistake that we see made is if you are asked the distance between York and London, you'll see people who would read down a little bit, then read straight along, and they would give an answer of 413, because obviously this is the London column here. That would be incorrect. If I wanted to do the correct calculation and find the distance between York and London, I would just read straight across from York, I would then read straight down from London, and where my two lines cross, the box it's in gives me the answer. In this case, it's 212. For the next question down, it says, which two cities are the least distance apart? For this, I have a look at the table, and I look for the lowest number that's in the table. Now, the lowest number in the table, I can see here, is 155. So I need to have a look and see which two cities combine to make 155. So I'm going to have a look to see which one I read along and which one I read down. Now for me reading down, obviously it's in the London column. Reading across, it's Cardiff. So the two cities are London and Cardiff. Finally, which city is furthest from London? If I look down the London column, which is this one here, I just look for the largest number. The largest number is 413, and that lines up with Edinburgh. So the city which is furthest from London is Edinburgh.